wasn't for St. John's, I don't think I would have ever found the peace that God loves me and I wasn't a horrible person. And that I sinned and His love has covered those sins. It just, I'm not trying to fit into a church. The church there, it just engulfed me. I was single and I had my, my marriage to my husband broke up. I left the Mormon church, figured out who God created me to be, and it wasn't a choice to stay. Follow who I am. And I tried a couple of churches. I tried a church that there were gay members, um, but when I walked in, I knew where to sit. So that just didn't sit well with me. And I was there, and during that meantime, um, I had a blinding cat. And <laughs> She had invited me to church, and it didn't happen the very first time, but as I started going more and more, I finally realized God does not put conditions on whether He loves me. That was just, when I left the Mormon church and everything I believed and had to be, and if I didn't do X, Y, and Z, I wasn't going to make the cut. And that was my biggest, it's okay to be who I am. I can still have this relationship with God. That was the best thing that's ever happened. And being able to meet so many different people, I had a very small world. I had lived in previously. I lived in a military world, in the Mormon church world, and my ability to reach out to other people or experience people different than I was not there. And so when I, and it was hard for me to first reach out, um, but to be able to just like me because they're like me inside. They have a heart that God keeps pumping. And that's all that matters. And it's very interesting to know and learn about other people and their journey. And that their life didn't look anything like my life. But that's okay. We can still be connected. And finding that connection. I had a family that decided to live without four walls. And that was such an eye-opening experience of we don't have to all be the same. We don't all have to want the same things. People may choose to do different things. You're back. Yes, I think we saw some pictures of them in a video recently. And it's just getting to know them was, it deepened my heart, my faith. It just, I can't say specifically what about it. But there is absolutely no one on this planet that's better than anyone else. And that was a, a lesson. Not, I don't think that I felt when I was better, but it was so interesting to get to know them and why they made the choices they made. And that was just beautiful. I gained from that relationship. I hope I gave a little bit, but I definitely gained. I'm sitting here thinking, the habitat right. trip that we took sure. to Mexico. Um, one Sunday we went outside the walls and our group that we were with, we went and cleaned up an elderly couple's yard. And I mean, it was cutting back and doing it. It's amazing how then you can bring more people in because I worked with a 
construction company at the time. And I called them up and said, we need the dump truck over here, you know, and got them involved. And so it was just, it felt so good. And just to see the joy in their faces. And I know not just our project, but every project that was assigned that day, we're touching people outside of our walls. And everyone got the same, just joy, joy that day. Just. It wasn't work. I <laughs> knew we were out there working, but it was absolutely a good time, a good day, and you were so filled by the time you got done. That is our family, and we'll always be our family. It's that will hopefully never go away, and I don't think it will. We miss the interaction so bad. But, and it's, <coughs> for us now, I know a lot of people do really well watching it, but we get the sermon that way, but I miss the people. I miss, I feel God here in my daughter's home, but I also feel it the moment I come in and those people are there. family is there.